Hello guys, today we are solving the final steps to the Rubik's Cube. Now, if you have, um, not, do not have, um, the sec two layers, you have, you will have to go check out my other videos, um, and watch them, and then get here, and then come watch this one. So, if you don't have this, go back and watch them. So, um, we know all the cube pieces and everything. So first things first, we're focusing on the yellow top. There's four algorithms you have to learn to solve the Rubik's Cube. This is where we'll be solving it. The first step, so let's get started. The first step is making a yellow cross on um, your um, top. So when you're done, it will, it will look like this it will have a, it will be a cross shape it will be very simple you have to ignore the corners though so there's three stages to get there and so let's go back to the scramble i was we're back to the scramble and we have an l so there's stages we can have we can have an this l hook thing we're gonna always put that up in the top left when we're doing this algorithm you could have a dot, which I'm going to show you right now. So, you could have this dot, the hook shape I just showed you. So, the dot, they're basically stages. So, if the first stage is the dot. You can end up with any one of them. But if you have the cross, you're just going to wait until I'm done um, explaining this. So, if you have the dot. That means that you need um means that you need to do this algorithm three times in order to get this into the cross. If you have the hook, which is the next stage, is two times. And if you have the cro the bar across, which looks like this, and then you'll get the cross. So I'm gonna go back to the hook. I mean, I'm going to go to the dot, and I'm going to do it all the times. So if you're confused about this, wherever you are, except if you have the cross, just do this algorithm. But things to note on. You need to keep the bar this. Think of it as like a sword. You, need, you don't want it to stab you, so you got to hold it horizontally. If you have the hook, you got to put it in the top left like this. And the dot, it doesn't matter. So, here we go. I'm going back to the hook. So we can, I mean the dot, so we can just, you know. We're going to hold this algorithm with the dot anywhere because there's no other edge pieces. So we're going to do this algorithm. F, R, U, R counterclockwise. U counterclockwise and F counterclockwise. And now we have the hook. It's pretty cool. Now we're going to put the hook in the top left so it's like a backwards L. And we're going to do it again. Just F R U R counterclockwise U counterclockwise, F counterclockwise. White side still solved. Bar. It's a sword. Hold it horizontally. Do it again. F, R, U, R counterclockwise, U counterclockwise, and F counterclockwise. So now we have the cross. We have successfully done the first step of solving the last layer, which will end up in solving the Rubik's Cube. So now we're going to look for a uh, solved, like, you know how we did the, um, in the first video, we did the white cross. It's ba We're basically doing the same thing here. But we're going to find two um, cro pieces that are solved. You might have to rotate your top a few times around to find them. Okay, so these two pieces, this piece 
in this piece is solved on the cross, like the white cross we did. So if you have that, you can have one more situation, which would be this, solved on opposite sides. But in the other case, what we just had was them next to each other. And when we had them next to each other, we're only going to have to do this algorithm once. But if we have them by, by their sides, we're going to have to do it twice. So if you have it on both sides, hold on for a minute because and listen to this because you might you're going to get this eventually when you keep solving it. Um, um, so you're going to have to do this twice. Always put it in the on one side solved and on the other side solved. Hold it so they're on your both sides. And then I'll get where you hold it on the other um, um, situation in a minute. So now we're do this algorithm. We're going to do, they're both the same algorithm. It's R, U, 2, R counterclockwise, U counterclockwise, R, U counterclockwise, R counterclockwise. White side, cross. You might need to give it a flick or two to find to two next to each other. So now we got the two next to each other. And now we're going to have to do this now. Now we're have to going to do this. So we're going to put it in the left, in the back, where, where it's solved. Like right here, left and back. And we're going to do the same algorithm again, which is R, U, 2, R, counterclockwise, U, counterclockwise, R, U, counterclockwise, R, counterclockwise. And now we're just going to give it a flick, either this way or this way. And see, our cross is now solved. Awesome. So now, the la this is the last, basically the second to last part of solving the Rubik's Cube. So now we're, so see how our cross is all solved. And now we're going to find a corner that is solved. It doesn't have to have the right colors in the exact um, right space, but see this one? This piece is solved because it is yellow, blue, red and red so that piece is solved it doesn't matter which way it's flipped it could be flipped this way it's still solved it could be flipped this way it's still solved so it just has to have the right colors on it and be in the right corner which we have all of them here and don't flip your corners when we finish this so the corner you have solved, you're going to hold this in the right, right here, right in the right. If you have all of your corners solved, which would be like something like this for all of them, just wait. So if you don't, you're going to hold it with the one you have solved up here, and you're going to do U, R. U counterclockwise, I call it boom effect, like a bounce effect. L counterclockwise, U, R counterclockwise, U counterclockwise, L. And now we're going to look around again. So still, this corner is the only corner solved, so we're going to have to do it again. U, R, U counterclockwise, L counterclockwise, U, R counterclockwise, U counterclockwise, and L. So... Now we're going to look around again. This corner solved, this corner solved, this corner solved, and this corner solved. So we were done with this step. 
Now we're on to the last step to solving a Rubik's Cube. If you have made it this far, give yourself a round of applause. I'm pretty sure I read someone that only like 6% of people can solve a Rubik's Cube. But, so, now, this is a four-move algorithm that will solve your Rubik's Cube. But you have to do it a bunch of times to work, for it to work. So, how this algorithm works is you have to put your white on the right. Remember, white and right. You're going to have to put your white on the right, left, um, yellow on the left. Going to hold the cor a corner that needs to be solved. Needs to be, like, flipped around. See how this needs to be flipped around in order for it to be in its right place? This one, we don't need to do that for because it's already in its right place. Same with this one. I mean, not with this one. This one has to be flipped. So we're going to have to do this algorithm several times. So it's... Remember, white on the right. R prime. I mean, R counterclockwise. U counterclockwise. R. U. R counterclockwise. U counterclockwise. R. U. Now hold it if your corner have just solved. See how this one just solved? Now we're going to hold it on the exact same side we have it on. And if it, in any case, this did not solve your corner, you're going to keep doing it until it solves. Because in cases where it could be flipped different ways, it takes a different number of times to do this algorithm. Now we're going to take this side. And now to get our next piece up, we're going to take this side and we're going to crank it on up. So it's in the top left, so we can solve it. So now it's R counterclockwise, U counterclockwise, R, U, R counterclockwise, U counterclockwise, R, U. One corner left, and we have done it. Remember, crank it up. We're going to go R counterclockwise, U counterclockwise, R, U. Last time, and then we'll have solved the Rubik's Cube. R counterclockwise, U counterclockwise, R, U. Two turns, solve the Rubik's Cube. If this, if this, um, if the, are you, if you're still going on this, you can keep rewinding the video and remembering it and keep doing it again for your other, um, corners. You could have four. It doesn't matter. You could have a bunch. So you could have all four, which would take you a pretty long time. But now if you ever want to practice this rhythm, here's a little tip that I figured out. You can just do the rhythm on a solved Rubik's Cube and it will go back to solve if you want to ever just keep, see if you do it right. See? It's going to go back. Back. Do it again. Back. So thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any questions, just comment. And make sure you hit the... Thumbs up button. So hope you solved it.